<coughs> oh, my poor little child that is younger than me and looks like me. Well, of course, they're younger than me. But they have the coronavirus. Whatever will I do? Well, you're not the only one that coronavirus has been affecting. It's affected millions of people, not just your little gym. Well, the way it's impacting my life is I'm unable to go to the gym. I'm unable to go to Starbucks to get my daily iced coffee, vanilla latte with half a sweetener. Uh, it, it, it lets you know what's important as far as groceries, food, uh, communicating with family, becoming close to your family because you're having these Well, uh, it's been very difficult for Jacqueline. I have noticed that I'm getting a little stir crazy. But uh, the, the thing that is uh, most impacted, I believe, is our ability to go out and get some fresh meat products. So uh, my husband and I, we have come to trying to find substitutes, hunting in our own yard. By way of example, last night we caught this little squirrel and it will make quite a yummy dinner this evening. We also uh, had this filthy pond next door, so we caught some fish. Also quite lovely and delicious. Uh, last time we forgot to scale it and I choked on the bone. <laughs> And then uh, we also uh, caught a, I don't know, some kind of a bird that was flying up above. And we just decided we would, we would try it. But uh, our dogs ran, ran off with it and there it goes. It just disappeared. It had its, you know, <laughs> it had its, uh, you know, its life taken out of it. But uh, other than that, uh, this quarantine has proved to be a challenge. That Jacqueline can overcome. <laughs> Little girl, I don't know if you know, but Jacqueline is a mother, and uh, it has been quite taxing on my career and my stream of revenue. But uh, one of the main reasons is I cannot get uh, my makeup that is so important for a model to have. So I've had to improvise, so that is a con, but uh, as, a, as a pro, I have uh, figured out ways to make do with the uh, products that we have in our, in our chalet. So by way of example, we found, uh, we found this avocado. It had been dropped on the yard, I suspect by a crow. Uh, uh, And what you do is you use it as, as, as a cream, you know, to moisturize the face and make it feel oh so soft and lovely. And it smells quite good too, as I'm sure you can imagine. And so that is, you know, something I've been able to do. And I, I may also prove it uh, again, no con, but pro to market this on the World Wide Web. And uh, of course, for most models, as you know, uh, one of the most important things and what the camera always draws on in uh, ad campaigns is uh, your lips. So I decided that butter and uh, some jam can make for a great uh, lipstick. So there we put on that, which <coughs> is delicious. And then I take, uh, as I said, we've got some strawberry jam and uh, you just, you know, get it on your lips like that. And as you can see, the color is quite good. And you can also use this as uh, a remarkable rouge. And it just adds just vibrant color to your face. So again, the color, I cannot do my regular modeling, but uh, I am able to manufacture my own products, body products, and I am going to try and uh, market them under the label Jacqueline <coughs> on the web. Well, the positive is that we all
all get to sleep in every day, except for Monday through Thursday when Barton Creek Elementary starts the Zooming at 8.30. And I get to spend more time with my beautiful children. The negative is that we can't go anywhere. I think some of the negatives are that you have to like, you can't really do any much things and you, you can like, you can barely escape boredom. And also you can't spend time with your friends and react, like you can't spend time with each other like face to face. You can only like spend virtually. And also you can barely go out of your house. Well, what I do in recreation during COVID-19 is usually swimming, spending time with my family, playing with my cat, like calling with my friends virtually on devices and playing an online game. Darling, I have gone through every closet and every cabinet in my house and organized everything. And I've gone into my garden and I've mulched everything and I've weeded everything. And I'm trying to donate everything to the goodwill but everything's closed. I'm telling you, I watch a lot of television. I especially like public television, PBS. They have some wonderful programs on all the time. My favorites are Nature and No. I'm really addicted to No. Pretty much I'm trying to treat it like the normal work week Monday through Friday just so I don't get into bad habits like getting up too late sleeping in staying up too late drinking alcohol things like this well I think the positives and negatives of COVID-19 is the, the positives are that you can learn a lesson about taking care of others taking care of the world taking care of yourself and some of the negatives are that people have to go to hospital, hospitals to see if they're positive or negative for the for the coronavirus test. And the doctors, if they if they have coronavirus, then they would have to take care of them and they could possibly get sick from them. Well, darling, my initial reaction is to say there are no positives to COVID-19. But upon reflection, I would say it has enabled everybody, well forced everybody, to slow down and to really take stock of what is important. I think it was a, a reckoning for a lot of people who felt that they had control over everything. Um, and then you have this pandemic happen, you feel like you're in control of your life, you're in control of your schedule, your family, your friends, whatever. And then you're told by higher ups, um, like the president of the United States and your governors, telling you that you can't leave your house and it gives food for thought.